To understand the student of the 21st century, we must start with a fundamental question to education. What is literacy? And yes, by definition, it's the ability to read and write. But our definition must also incorporate all of the language, knowledge, and competencies that our students have in various subject areas and skills. Someone who is great at video games or building model cars or enjoys fashion design, uh, each of these skills has a language of its own. And just because one's literacy skills may appear to be at an average or below average level, when reading Shakespeare or a textbook, that same individual may be a master in the language of music or photography. You must also ask, how do you identify with literacy? As a citizen? As a consumer? as a lifelong learner. As a global citizen. Each requires a set of skills needed to navigate that system. A required discourse, unique to that task, that you must use to interact with that system and others in it. As educators, we have to pay attention to how our students are interacting with literacy. What are they reading? What are their hobbies? What technologies are they using and what are they encountering on their daily basis that requires those special navigation tools that we call literacy? We have to recognize that young people don't always think of these things as skills or as literacy, something that they can bring to the table. If we can somehow get them to see their hobbies and talents as skills and tools, we can improve their appreciation and their literacy across multiple content areas. Why can't a student write and perform a song in a history class to demonstrate their understanding? Uh, why can't they create a video or a play? to show what they've learned in a mathematics class. We're now saying they can and they should. We're dealing with a generation of digital natives. Since the time they were born, they have been using this technology, but we still need to teach them how to use it safely and effectively. There's a new set of rules that we need to teach them. Internet safety, plagiarism, how to find credible information for research. So now the question, what does this mean for educators? Well, as educators, we must recognize that it is through language and how our students use that language to interact with others that causes learning. Learning is rarely an independent activity. And technology, this, this idea of living in a global community, is making it remarkably simpler to acquire knowledge and interact with others who share similar passions. It's no longer acceptable as a teacher to take center stage and regurgitate information. We're now on the sidelines as a coach. We need to start recognizing the rich and diverse languages and ways of learning that our students are bringing to the classroom 
and we need to ignite the flame and call the right plays that lead our students to success. 16 lead, next five for the overall, right? No matter what the content area, we need to invite students to absorb and use the appropriate discourse and to take on the identities related to that discourse. We are teaching tomorrow's scientists, artists, writers, musicians, and if we aren't giving them the tools they need today, we're failing our team. Education has changed. We need to think about what literacy means in the 21st century. How can we ensure that our students are literate? We need to harness their strengths and give them tools to succeed and overcome their weaknesses. Are we going to teach them to read and write? Of course. But if that's all we're teaching them in this digital age, that's not enough.